collision corner. A group of neighbors fed up with all the crashes at one local intersection. One of their only defenses, a planter box on the north side of the intersection, which has been replaced several times as just car after car slams into it. Let's show you where this is going on. Citrus Sites on Fair Oaks Boulevard in Old Auburn Road. That's where CBS 13's Brady Howblib is with what the city is doing to help reduce the crashes there. Brady. Well, guys, I'm just on the corner where many of those crashes happened. The latest one just about a few weeks ago. But as you can see, the planters have actually been replaced. They're fixed up, looking great. But I do want to show you this. Residents tell me that this broken fence right here is actually a result of one of those crashes. Now, I did talk to the city earlier today who say that they are aware of this problem. And it's time to make some changes. So when there's an accident, man, like, yeah, we know. This wooden fence is Jesse Durham's last defense when it comes to protecting his home from cars. The first planter box is just feet from his home. We hear a loud noise and we're just like, ah, oh, there's the barrier again. The planters act as a blockade to his home. And over the past six years, he says they've been destroyed from crashes dozens of times. And you just hear slam, slam. We look out our back window, you can see like the dirt and smoke rising. We're like, oh, cool, another one. Durham now has reinforcement poles to hold up his fence. And his daughter can only play on one half of the backyard. The last one, they ended like over the barrier, like on top of it, right? right. So it's only a matter of time before they're actually like, in my, my, my yard. Durham and others believe people take that turn way too fast. I think it's people just speed. Citrus Heights officials say they are aware. A few years back, they made lane modifications to the intersection to cut down on crashes, but still more needs to be done. It does have a history of runoff the road crashes here. City engineer Leslie Blomquist says it starts by making the turn more of a 90 degree angle. So that left turn is a little bit more acute than a standard left turn. And so you have to take it with a little bit more caution. And Improvements are part of phase one of the Old Auburn Road Complete Streets Plan, which aims to make roads safer. But Durham worries it may not help. I mean, if they can solve the problem, they can solve the problem. I don't know if there is really a solution. Now, that improvement plan is currently in the works. They're going to be having several uh, community meetings about this for public comment. And once that period ends, that's when construction could begin, guys.